Hello, we are on our way to Yellowstone and we're gonna to try to find out, can you actually see sites in Yellowstone without a tremendous amount of tourists around you? Is the entire park completely surrounded by Turon? They're everywhere. They come in herds. <laughs> are there animals around every corner waiting to trample or maul you? And can you actually find peace and solitude in Yellowstone? We are going to find out. Morning. Morning. Well, we're, we're on a different hike. We're here in downtown Deer Lake. And we're going to go visit an old prison <laughs> and see a car show. I wonder if I can get one of these added to the camper. Solitary. Could be more like your man cave. Yeah, we found an eye overlander trying to find a free place to sleep. If you're ever in this area, definitely check this out. They have an antique car and the old prison uh, walkthrough museum. It is definitely worth a trip. Yep. The prices yep. in here were what, $18, $18 a for person. Yep. And um, you could come one day or the ticket was good all year. So if you wanted to come more than once, you could come more than once. And then there was three other little museums across the street that were there part of this too. So you got to take all five in. Yes. Um, if you do have a good Sam card, you can get a discount to $14 a ticket, which we did, which is awesome. And there is free RV parking. There's multiple areas over here, so I think you'll be able to fit. We were in there literally for three and a half hours yeah. uh, going through all this stuff. I mean, it's not didn't. small. Yeah, it's not small at all. It's well worth the money. They're just a little bigger a little than our rig. Just a small bit. But we got to get back on the road. A week before we left Pen Pack, I had been trying to get a campground at Glacier National Park. How fast is this road supposed to be? It seems like we're going faster than we need to. While we tend to wing it on campgrounds most of the time, I didn't think doing that at a national park was a smart plan. But two weeks before our trip, we still found nothing. Nada. Zero. So we initiated plan B, which was to figure out another cool place to visit. That place ended up being Yellowstone National Park. We were able to snag four nights at Yellowstone Grizzly RV Park, which was located in West Yellowstone. Morning. You will never guess where we are right now. Although maybe you will with some of the background there. We decided to come to Yellowstone National Park and we're going to have to take you along. We decided this about four days ago. So we're just kind of winging it. We don't recommend this, but we're going to show hopefully that you can do it. Obviously, we're focusing on hikes here at the park. Mm hmm. All right, let's get going. All right. Oh, we'll wait, where, where are we going this first one? Oh, so the first one we're going to go to is we're parked in the basin. We decided to stay away from the little uh, Old Faithful parking lot. Yes. Uh, the menagerie down there. So what we're going to do is we're hiking into Faithful. Old Faithful Geyser. Yeah. We're going to hike into it from the basin yeah. parking lot. So it's, it's only good. five miles, so it's not that big a deal. It is just at sunrise here, about 7 o'clock. It's a nice, brisk 34 degrees, so... Yeah, it's a little tidy. So. Yeah. First cow walking in the trail there. Yeah, 
bison's just chilling over there. That's good because we're chilling up here. Crisp mornings make you feel alive. That's quite pretty. Everything's alive! Alive! Stepping back. That's <laughs> like. <laughs> I think we chose wisely in getting up early. We're headed to Old Faithful. I, you know, the problem with Old Faithful is it's just been so overdone. I, I'm just not as excited. But we'll see. We'll see if I change my mind when I get there. And again, Gary is just hiking. Yep. No talking, take, just hiking. Just taking it in. Mm -hmm. It's all steamy. Right, I'll be talking. It's like my stomach in the morning. So this is what the boardwalk looks like for the up, for the upper geyser look see look out or whatever. Um, but as you can see, nobody that way. Nobody that way. Closer to the geyser, I'm sure we're gonna see more people. But I mean, up here there's nobody up here, so kind of cool. The place to ourselves. Hey, look at that, I got a halo. Wow! I must be angelic. <laughs> well, aren't you unafraid? This is true Old Faithful peeping. So, sitting on the side of a rock, waiting for her to go with coffee. And Gary's just making breakfast. We've got some oatmeal cooking. We're pretending to be real hikers now. I didn't notice the people there before. Holy cow. That's a lot of people. That's early. It is early. Star she blows. Thought I saw him. Golly, he's fast. And yeah, there's old people, but I'm watching a squirrel. People are actually clapping. I think Old Faithful approves. Yep. He's like, yep. Nailed it. People are walking away. That was not as impressive as I was hoping. Maybe it's just because we're way up here. <laughs> Maybe. Well, you know, it is a Monday. Even geysers have bad days. Which one is this one? I forgot it. Solitary geyser. This is solitary geyser. Starting to bubble. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I guess these people know something we don't, so we're gonna have to hear. Oh, there, whoa! Oh, wow! We just happened upon this one. This was not planned. 
Yeah. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Still going. Wow. That's an encore. Holy cow. That's Big encore. huge encore. Apparently it liked the clapping. That vent is just going off, too. That is cool. See that little vent? Yeah. It's just like a chew, chew, chew. <laughs> this one started going off, and this, the tardy geyser, decided, yeah, I guess I have to. You can feel the heat. Wow. <laughs> All right, splishy splashy, I'm done. A little bit of a ruckus going on up here. Let's check it out. It's not barrelicious. We are not barrelicious. We're barely edible. Yeah. It's like hasn't been unbearable. Mm -hmm. uh, We're barely there. On trip with those bad jokes. Yeah. What a nice ambiance by the river, minus the stank. Why, yes it is. That is a buffalo head. Near the river? Well, we saw one and a quarter buffalo. Well, we found a pretty place uh, for lunch today. Sitting on some rocks right next to a pretty geyser or, or blue hole. I'm not sure. I didn't look, I should look. So, definitely hot. Definitely time for lunch. Yes, it is. So, what are we having today? We're having adult lunchables. Adult lunchables, yes. We have uh, wheat thins and pepper jack cheese and peppered salami. That is on the menu. Plus, our lovely water. Not from there. Look at all the people over there. And that white thing over there, that's a camper. We're almost done with part one of two for today. So far has been a very pleasant experience. See, this is what you miss when you get here at Seven o'clock in the morning. They're doing construction by Old Faithful, so definitely is a bit of traffic. Biscuit Basin looks full, but not a hundred percent full, so that's good. Oh my. That is a lot of traffic. And she's all nestled in there. Among the other 40,000 cars that came after us. We're just after noon. Our next hike is to Mystic Falls. This is a three to four mile hike with a bit more elevation than the Upper Geyser, but it promises to have some pretty good views. So we decided to try them both today. There are some pretty amazing geysers in spring on this part of the boardwalk before you begin the hike to Mystic Falls. It's just a little snake. 
Yeah, but I said snake. Wildlife. Five stars, would you recommend? Get to do some zigzags, some cut switchbacks to get up this hill. Well, that's, that's a view worth hiking for. So yeah, here we are. We're on Mystic Falls Trail. It's a bud kicker coming up the hill. A lot of switchbacks, but one of the views out here, you can see um, where we were this morning, because Old Faithful is right over there. And uh, the Grand Kaiser is going up right now, so you can kind of see it. He's talking about that one right there. Loving the views. Hopefully, we're close to being done. Oh, yeah. On the hill. Oh, oh. I am tuckered. This is, this is it. Okay. I really like that. Now that we're up here, we're seeing a lot of pretty significant updrafts over here. Yeah, it's the showers. It changed 35%. Huh? But there's some coming this way. Like, like right now? Here. Well, snap! So, good thing we brought a raincoat. More zigzags? Okay. Yeah, we're only halfway through. Oh, really? Now, we're hearing thunder. I didn't think those thunder clouds were going to be uh, on us this quick. And great, we're at 7,800 feet on a on a mountain with likely conductive rock so let's we gotta get the heck out of here yeah, they weren't joking when the weather could change and hurt me yeah okay i am not liking this part of the hike just saying i do not like going down steep areas i am glad i have both poles this time though I can bust a move. Look at that rain coming in. Wow, and we were up there. Yes, we were. Yeah, we were all the way up on the other side. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad we're down here. Yay. Look at that. We did make it down in time. made it back to the camper. It is blustery outside. Started spitting, but not full on rain. Well, we made it out without getting mauled by people or animals the entire day. So that's a win.
but we're not quite out of the park yet. In just the first day, we have a huge appreciation for Yellowstone. What an amazing and beautiful park. Nice and jam. Is it? Mm-hmm. Where? They're off on the left line. Okay, we are officially in a bison jam. One of the quintessential things you need to do at Yellowstone National Park. Yeah, there's bison standing right in the middle of the road. Just, hmm. what are these people doing? We need to just hold your ass back. Stupid. There's a big bull sitting right in front too there. Guys, come on. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope to see you next week yeah. as we continue to explore Yellowstone. I'm not getting out of the car though. See you on the next trail.